what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here talking about halloween ends once again i want to do a separate video about this track list that came out for halloween ends the soundtrack from john carpenter and his son uh which i've heard the procession it sounded amazing and i'm going to go into my thoughts on that track title and there's several others in this video here today so the track list might be revealing some important moments from the film so i'll dive into the track list first and then say what it seems is happening based on said track titles or at least a couple of them so if you obviously again don't want spoilers you should not be watching watching this and when i say spoilers i mean potential spoilers i haven't seen the movie i know a lot of you haven't seen the movie either some of you have seen the movie uh from test screenings because you've messaged me but just to jump into this track list the track list includes track one where is jeremy it's continuing on track two halloween ends the main title track three Lori's theme ends track four the cave track five drags to the cave six evil eyes transformation for number seven Track 8, Because of You. Number 9, Requiem for Jeremy. Number 10, Kill the Cop. Track 11, Corey and Michael. Track 12, Corey's Requiem. Track 13, The Junkyard. Track 14, Where Are You? Track 15, Bye Bye Corey. Track 16, The Fight. Track 17, Before Her Eyes. Track 18, The Procession. Track 19, Cherry Blossoms. Track 20, Halloween Ends. Now, two tracks say the name Jeremy. Where is Jeremy for one track and Requiem for, Jer for Jeremy for the other. Now, a Requiem from what I what I recall, I haven't been to a to a mass or anything related to Catholic Church or any type of church recently in a while. But it says a Requiem is some sort of mass from my memory and what I was able to research when someone dies, if I'm mistaken. So let me know if I'm wrong. But I guess Jeremy is the boy who accidentally dies to begin the movie when Corey is babysitting and what I will assume is taking place in the year 2019. 2019 this event is what then triggers him to be hated on in Haddonfield most likely another title says the cave now this could be in reference to the sewers where Corey somehow manages to find Michael and the police didn't for whatever reason and he come across come across the shape of Michael Myers that being drags to the tape drags to the cave is another title so maybe Myers tries to attack Corey at first and Corey gains the upper hand for whatever reason how that plays out on screen will be i guess a mystery until we see it of course another track says kill the cop now that's this one was the most interesting for me i'm like hawkins would be too obvious so what cop could it be other than a random cop which it most likely is why does a cop get killed assuming this is after Corey meets michael going off of the track listing then maybe Corey takes a cop to michael and michael kills him why maybe this is one of Corey's bullies and this will be a tag team kill since Corey took the cop to Michael. Now, I know the tag team aspect, again, is not something many of you might be wanting to see, but we have to consider it when you have a track title called Corey and Michael. Something with those two is going to go down where they develop some type of bond. So, again, maybe Corey is taking a cop to Michael. Michael kills him. And Michael's not trying to... Michael's not trying to kill Corey because Corey is bringing him bodies because another track says Corey and Michael. So maybe Corey and Michael, again, they have a moment together after they do this, do some tag team kills. Corey starts to feel a bond with the shape. And again, Michael won't kill this boy because Corey is supplying him with victims to kill. Now, another track says bye bye, Corey. So I guess this would cue in during the scenes where maybe Michael has grown tired of Corey and he wants his mask back after boy again steals the mask. This is again something that's heavily identifiable from the trailer sure it's possible that Corey Corey cunningham's ring is stolen by michael myers but at the same time the hand isn't matching up for a lot of people me included so going off of what we see in the trailer Corey cunningham is shown wearing a ring this boy is going to end up stealing this dude's mask because one the other track says bye bye Corey." this must have to happen after he's grown tired of him and wants his mask back when Corey steals it he presumably will find Corey, kills Corey most likely. Another track says the fight, which of course must be Lori and Michael's kitchen brawl, where she will finally get to make up, this being Jamie Lee Curtis, getting to make up for that horrendous exit she had from the franchise in Resurrection all those years ago. And Michael Myers dies or she dies, but it's most likely Michael. There is another track called The Procession, and to my knowledge, a procession is like a large gathering that you might see for a funeral or a festival. So this track definitely has a cue to it uh, or has to cue in, I would say, 
either after Lori dies or most likely after Michael Myers dies, I assume. And the entire town of Haddonfield, for whatever reason, decides to gather to dispose of the body. Obviously, the movie's release will give complete context and we'll see what is right and wrong from these assumptions. Again, while Halloween Ends does sound pretty lackluster to me and many others, the execution could deliver the best Halloween movie ever. It really honestly could. That's something to remember. The narrative might not be something I'm in complete agreement with, but Rohan Campbell and what he's doing as Corey Cunningham, that could be something that, again, is a plus for the movie. The score, obviously, I think that's going to be a plus. Halloween ends most likely won't be a complete, utter train wreck as much as it is this narrative that it's working with sounds like it is because i know a lot of people myself included think that laurie strode should be the one carrying this final film which i i would say there's a lot of arguments room to argue why that is the case how you completely and utterly perfectly set it up at the end of kills but then ends for a lot of people when they rewatch this series or just people in general who aren't even aware of what's going on right now new horror fans who discover this franchise when they get to this section where they're watching this new timeline i'm pretty sure when they turn on halloween ends they're going to be confused as to why kills ends like that and then ends starts like this and who the hell is Corey? <laughs> I, I see that that how this movie will be aging but again it could end up being one of the best halloween movies that we've had in recent memory uh so far from the trailer the cinematography definitely will be a plus for me um i just think that honestly the film will lack what the narrative is trying to tell it might lack in some of the narrative decisions whether that be how they try to rationalize anything related to michael myers and this connection with Corey. uh if there are a, if there's any shades of halloween 5 already you have lost me in some capacity and you might lose several others because I could have sworn the whole purpose of this trilogy was to what go back to the intent of the character right so if you want to go back to the intent of the character but then ultimately throw in your own supernatural twist a lot of people would argue well why did you not just do a sequel to the to the other entries and I can't be mad at people who question you when if you do this but we'll see what happens what do you guys think about this track list do you think this track list again is indicating of certain events that will happen in Halloween ends if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video